Is there a better way to vacuum? Come on in and welcome to my home. Today we're going to talk about vacuuming. I know some of you are now going, well that's boring, why would I want to talk about that? Well, I can tell you something interesting. I've been vacuuming for a couple years now. We'll just go with a couple, okay? It's been many, many years. And I remember when I was young, the goal of vacuuming was to just get it done as fast as I possibly could. Whip that vacuum in and around, and you know what I found out? Well, it doesn't work that well. No. I mean, let's think about what a vacuum does. A vacuum has a beater on the front, which then agitates the carpet and then helps dig up all of the dirt which is embedded into the carpet. These things are pretty straightforward, right? Well, if you go really fast, you're not really giving the carpet, you know, the beater any time to actually get into the fibers and bring up the dirt that's in the carpet. So you're just sort of not really doing much of anything. You're just hoping that the vacuum has enough suction power to suck up all that dirt. But if you go really slow, and I mean actually really slow, and give that beater a chance to then actually hit those fibers and get down in there, uh, yes, guess what? It will get more dirt out. Now there are a couple things to remember. If you have a vacuum which has the ability to set the height, you know, the correct height for your carpet, do that so that you're not like, you know, doing things to your beater bar which then just makes it really hard for your beater to go or just completely misses your floor. So you want to make sure that it is set at the correct level for your carpet. The other thing that you really want to make sure is that your vacuum's actually cleared out so that there is full suction there. If the, all those things are set up, cool, we're in business. Now what you want to do is you want to gently push the vacuum slowly over the carpet. Now here's where something is interesting. What they've said and what I've found is if you push it forward, and then reverse the same way. So push it away from you, pull it towards you, or you get the idea. You're going one direction and then the other direction. Guess what that does? That means that the beater bar is actually bringing up all that stuff forward and then reversing it so that that way it's going to actually hit it differently. So you have the better chance of getting more suction and getting more of the stuff up. That would be really cool is if they had a vacuum that the beater bar actually reversed as you were like pulling it back. Wonder if there is one. Well, no, have to check on that. Now, if there was a vacuum that could actually reverse that beater bar, coolest thing ever. Let me know down in the comments if there is. Okay, so you've done that. You've gone nice and slow and you've vacuumed. What are some other things to think about? Well, one of them is as you're vacuuming, Try moving everything out of the way that you can, which will make your vacuuming even easier. Once everything is out of the way, go ahead, run that vacuum, pull up those things. Now one of the things which I can honestly tell you is I vacuum at least once a week, however, I don't move everything out when I vacuum all the, uh, once a week. I move everything about eh, maybe once a month, simply because there are spots where, you know, people really don't get. The only thing that's going to settle there is dust. Could I move all those things every single time? Yes. However, with just me and my house really doesn't get that hideously dusty, I, I just don't. I, I don't. Maybe I should. But I do not. Now the next thing to remember is, remember all those attachments your vacuum came with and you never use? Use them. If you really want to get into those corners, you know, right at the baseboard, there's an attachment for that. Hopefully your vacuum has it. You can use that nozzle so that you can really get into the baseboard because when you normally use your vacuum, it doesn't get all the way to that baseboard. So go ahead and use those. I also have a vacuum attachment which helps get pet hair off of things, like furniture and that sort of stuff. It's not all that great on my ottoman because the, the material on the ottoman is pretty loose, but on other things it does work really, really well. So use the attachments as they are meant to be used. Don't forget to clean out your vacuum and all those things. As you can tell from my vacuum, it needs to be clean. However, I didn't realize I'd be vacuuming my carpet so many times to get these shots. So I will go ahead and clean that, but that'll be a whole another video. We'll talk about cleaning out your vacuum later on. But today, using your vacuum in the right way, nice and slow, getting everything nice and clean, will help your house get really, really nice and clean. Oh yeah, one other thing. When you vacuum, 
most people will tell you dust first and then vacuum. I like to think of it as working from the top to the bottom. So the vacuuming is the last thing that I do. Well, what do you think about that? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to check out my Patreon, which helps keep this channel going, and I hope I get to see you again next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you, and I hope I get to see you again next time.